You built your business here. You're shaping a life, creating a legacy. We only have one question. What will you make next? Make more possible. National Bank of Commerce. I'm John Garber with Yellow Jacket Athletics, and it's time for us to take a lap, sponsored by National Bank of Commerce. This week, we're joined by head athletic trainer, Ben Casper. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's talk about it. Uh, let's, let's, first things first, recently became a father. What's I that did. experience been like? It's been a lot, um, a lot more sleepless nights. Um, it's been good, though. A lot of good have come out of it, so. It, it definitely, I'm assuming you gone through the same tran um, transformation I did in realizing that it really does change everything and yeah. really does show you what is and is not important. Yeah, it really changes your priorities. I think about, you know, coming to work is a whole different experience now. <laughs> like going home, it's you're going right back to work pretty much. Pretty you know? much, right. Well, good transition though. Let's talk a little bit about when soccer was the priority because yeah. you were a men's soccer player here a long time ago now. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you're one of the lifers like I am yeah. here. So talk a little bit about your soccer career when you were here. Yeah, so it's been over 10 years since I came up here. Um, God, it was just a great group of guys that we had for four years. Um, got to win a conference championship for the first time. Um, got that team inducted into the UWS Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. We got to see that happen. And it's been really cool to kind of keep in touch with everyone over the years, too. So I, One of the images that's kind of burned in my brain is seeing you guys on the ice at the men's the hockey game the next the night and, and, yeah. and there was you with the uh, the buzz cutout. The buzz cutout, Yes, yeah. the, the campus was looking for that cutout for quite a while. So. <laughs> yeah, no, we held on to that. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a good episode. moment. Yeah. I, one of the other things too that sticks out in my mind, I think always will, is kind of your welcome to superior moment was the, the overtime goal against St. Scholastica. Yeah. Do you remember that? It, I do, I, re I very much remember that. I remember talking to Mooney I wasn't supposed to be on the bench for that game. He had, he had cut the roster down and mm -hmm. I was going to be in the stands and someone gets hurt the day before at practice. He called me in and told me I was going to be on the bench and <laughs> I played about two and a half minutes and got lucky enough to you know score a goal in that two minutes. First so. collegiate goal coming yeah. in driving rain yep. in the uh, in the overtime against St. Scholastica and it was a, that was a fun moment. It was, yeah, it was a very special memory. I still still very much remember that to the day. So. so athletic training, when did you realize that was the direction you wanted to go? Um, back in high school, actually, I had torn my ACL, had to forego my junior soccer and hockey season. Um, so I did a lot of watching from the sidelines and learning about recovery, the rehab, the physical therapy um, behind it. Mm -hmm. And that just really sparked my interest in everything. Really kind of, as a, any athletic trainer, they'll say, you know, PT is where I wanted to go. Sure. And then you quickly realize, okay, I want to work with athletes specifically. Mm -hmm. And that's what just directed me towards athletic training. I, I don't know how you do it because I don't have the stomach for a lot of that stuff. When you see some of the, the broken bones and yeah. things that happen, and I, I don't know if I could do what you it's, do. It's very infrequent as much as you'd think. Um, it's not as, you know, it doesn't happen as often. I think a lot of times when it does happen, we just react. We know our training is good. We've, we've practiced things in the past, and when things, you know, start to hit the fan, uh, we just <laughs> we just get to work and we do it, and it just, you know, it all comes together somehow. What's the worst slash grossest injury you've had to deal with? Oh, it was the first year that I worked here, men's soccer game, and I think it was St. Mary's. We had a player on the other team and their goalie collide head to head. Um, and one of them, we just kind of like, you know, a lot of blood, broken nose, and a couple concussions, and you know, a trip to the ER for, for those guys. And it just, it was one of those things where like, okay, things can happen at any moment. So you always gotta be ready. What's the most interesting thing about having to room with John Garver on the road? Getting the phone calls from Teddy all the time. <laughs> That's gotta be the one thing. It's a more of a highlight, it's not interesting. Getting the phone calls from him every day, always asking to see how I'm doing. The so. FaceTime and wanting to see yeah. where's Ben, yeah. where's Ben. <laughs> I'm John Garver, he's Ben Casper, and that's a laugh sponsored by National Bank of Commerce.